<clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Age of Civilizations 2. We're going to be trying out a, uh, a new game here. So, um, you guys really enjoyed seeing this this campaign, actually. You guys really or really enjoyed seeing all this. Um, playing as, you know, Hungary and all that kind of stuff. Didn't work out too well for us, but it is definitely interesting. It's, a it's an interesting experience to play this game. And it's actually kind of cool. I don't know. Um, we can swap back and forth between the different scenarios that exist in the game. So this is 1200 AD. So this is right before the rise of the Mongols and the uh, Mongol invasions and, and such. So like we have like Koresmi over here. We have the Gurids, Sultanate of Rome. We have the Byzantine Empire. We've got the uh, Kingdom or the the uh, Empire of Bulgaria, the Empire of Serbia. <clears throat> got the Kingdom of Hungary still a little bit. We have the Duchy of Austria here. We have Achillea, Corinthia there, Bavaria, Bohemia. I'm not actually sure entirely what we should do. Um, a lot of people have wanted me to do something in this time period. And other people have wanted me to do something a little more um, like in the future, like World War II or something. Um, just considering that I'm not glad the American Civil War would actually be something pretty to do, uh, pretty interesting to do too. Um, so here's, this is uh, the American Civil War. This is the Union. This is the Confederate States. Um, and then they're just there's specific scenarios between you know, between um, like for example, the American Civil War only has you know the Union and the Confederacy. You know, there's the Second Boer War here. We got the Great Emu War, and then we have World War II, which is you know Germany, Poland, the whole nine yards. Um, I believe we have the football war, apparently. Um, apparently, the United States you can play. Brazil, that's that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting stuff. Brazil would actually be pretty interesting. Um, we can go back as far back as the Byzantine-Sasanian War. Um, that's only four civilizations. The Warring States period is thir uh, 13 civilizations. That's in the BC era. Um, this is uh, prior to Alexander the Great. Um, yeah, so pretty much the 1440s start or the modern day start is pretty much what makes the most sense. I think we're going to stick with the 1440. I think we're just going to stick with the with the 1440. Um, let's go over there. All right, so let's load this scenario. And so we can play in the new world. We can play in the old world. I figured why not, you know, we were playing as, as Hungary and um, kind of got wrecked. So why don't we try something else? I was considering trying something as um, either Poland or Lithuania, but I actually think the Ottoman Empire is actually what we're going to try out just to see, you know, it, it gives us a bit of, um, it gives us, you know, some objectives. We're, we're relatively powerful. It gives us some things to do. We're quite strong. We've got almost a million people in the empire. You know, Adirne is the capital. Um, pretty decent technology level. Very good economy, that sort of thing. So let's, let's play the Ottomans, see what happens. We're the second strongest power in the world. So, we should see some interesting stuff happen. So, first, let's take a look at the budget. <clears throat> let's take a look at the budget here. We're going to want to raise taxes there. We're going to produce a pretty decent amount of goods. Let's let's do 25%. Um, research needs to be part of about 30% or around there. Um, let's leave investments at 20, I think. Let's take technology points. Um, we have a pretty large population in comparison to most countries around us. So, we don't need to focus so much on this i'll bring it up to like three percent um definitely the economy growth let's bring it up to like 5.25 percent income taxation let's do like two percent income production let's do one percent um let's see research we definitely want like let's do like eh, i'm actually willing to invest a little more in that 8.25 percent sounds good and then um Yeah, you know, actually, let's bring up economy production to, to a bit more. How about 2.25%? <clears throat> okay. So this is this is the empire. Um, this is in 1440s. So, so Istanbul is, is not yet ours. This actually belongs to the Byzantines. So we can destroy the Byzantines if we wanted to. And we definitely want to. That's something we want to do. So we have an army here in Adirne. And we can actually take a look here where we can recruit our population. Some, some pretty decent population. Istanbul is the largest population of the Byzantine Empire, but we can actually select our own empire and take a look at our population. Um, let's see, apparently Thessaloniki has a lot of people. Thethia has a lot of people. Uh, how much does Adirne have? Probably not as much as I'm thinking. 
Deirdre actually only has 21,000 people, which is interesting. So this actually has much more people than our capital. So that's kind of cool. Um, what about recruitable population? Let's take a look at that. We have quite a few troops um, in the eastern part of the empire, as well as the Greek provinces, and then around here in the Anatolian coastline. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> we can raise about 150,000 men from the recruitable population. Let's take a look here at income. Where do we make the most money? Adirne makes us money, but also Fathia does down here. Um, Technology is okay. We're definitely behind Western Europe, but we're on par with like Hungary and Wallachia. So we'll see about that. And I think invading Wallachia is definitely going to be one of the things we want to do first. Um, we definitely need to prepare a little differently the way that, you know, compared to the way that we did it with uh, the Hungarians. So let's take a look around here. Um... I think I want to build a watchtower here. Um, just so we can see what's in these outlying provinces. Let's see, Adirne, we could use a workshop and some farms. Um, that'd be pretty much the entirety of our money. This is our capital, though. It eventually will become Constantinople when we attack them. Let's see, does he have any allies or anything? We have a truce with him until 1446. So it's going to be some time before we can attack him again. Um, <clears throat> so, hmm, we may want to consider other, other allies. Apparently we have friendly relations with Kandar. Um, we may actually attack some of these guys, some of these small dudes. We'll see though. We'll see how it goes. Let's go and actually use our additional money or our, our money right now to, uh, to raise some troops, I think. Guess we're out of movement points, unfortunately. Okay, so apparently, I figured out you can actually... So what you can actually do is you can actually unpause the game. And apparently the game can run at like... I guess in a real-time... Strategy sense or something? I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. Let's see, let's see. Provinces, low stability. Oh, okay. Apparently we have some some instability around here. Why is this place so unstable? Our population is a minority. We should probably assimilate this this location here. Let's see, our tax is too high? Is investment too low? What's going on? Administration, military spending, goods, research, and investments. I wonder if we should raise goods investment. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we need to uh, assimilate some or assimilate some of our provinces. So let's let's work on that because we do have some places that are fairly unstable. Okay. Okay, so this is um, Molakia's army. This is our military. Let's see. Let's move. Um, let's see. Low stability here. Income promises reduce the low stability. Okay. Okay. Apparently the Mamluks improved relations with us, which is kind of cool. All right, um, we haven't we've improved. Um, I'm not sure if I want to. I don't. I don't know. Do I want to assimilate everything? I mean, do I really have to? That's kind of a lot. It's pretty expensive to to do all that. Shit. But uh, let's let's take a look here. See if we can do it. I guess it would help out our income and such. So we should try it. It's expensive though. Let's see, it's here. I'm not really sure. Is there a difference between these these two buttons? I'm not actually really even totally certain. Assimilate here. Let's see. Let's assimilate this guy. 
Okay. Um, so research has gone pretty well. Let's do... Are we growing in population at all? Let's see. We grow about 263 people per turn. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Um, I think we need some income, so let's let's go and do some income um, research here. Okay. So we're going to move some troops over here to the east. Let's raise some men. <clears throat> And I mean, we have good relations with this guy. Um, Karamon, we can probably attack. Let's let's see about the Equine Lu. See if we can improve relations with him. And improve relations with the Memlooks. For now, anyway. We'll probably have to go to war with them eventually. Let's see. Can we offer him vassalization? Let's see what he'll say. I think this this real time strategy thing might only be for like the mobile version of this game. I'm not sure. Um, it's a little strange. Proposal was rejected by Kandar. Okay, so we'll pro we probably will have to attack this guy. Unfortunately. Let's see, is it, does he have any allies? No. Seventy three thousand people live here. Yeah, taking his taking his his locations or his 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 provinces and such would be pretty useful. Okay, let's see, how much does it cost to recruit? No, so it costs the same to recruit anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> see, distance from the capital. So these these places are pretty remote. Recruit by population over here. Okay. We need to reduce this investment, I think. Um, our development level is pretty shit. 0 0.06. That's pretty bad. So, we might also be researching too much, but I don't know. I feel like we need more money, though. Definitely. see how much does it cost to recruit troops from here there's pretty much no difference anywhere it's kind of the same wherever you are See, we're relations from Albania. Interesting. Let's see what's going on over here. I think Austria and um, Venice have gone to war with each other. Looks like Venice did lose, or I know Austria lost or something. Interesting. Okay. So let's prepare for an invasion of uh, of Kandar. This could take some time, I think. Uh, military upkeep will save me some some money. The only thing is I can't see what he has here. I don't imagine he's very large, but I don't know. Just because of the way that combat works in this game, I'm not entirely certain you can be too careful. This combat's very simplistic in this game, which I don't like. So what I'm thinking is, we move in, like, these two armies in this position, we move in this main force over here, move these guys over here. 
Let's shore up this line a little bit, though. Alright, so let's take a look here at the uh, recruitment population. We've actually probably probably used most of the manpower here. Um, yeah, Dirne and Bursa actually have quite a few recruitment population. In fact, our recruitment population has actually increased since the last time we we tried it. So, or we, we took a look at it, so that's kind of cool. So administration actually decreases our cost um, or our, our, our expenses more than um, upgrading military upkeep does. Okay, so we'll keep investments right there. Just at a, a decent level, 10%. Not great, but it's alright. Um, the military is quite expensive, and then research and goods are actually pretty expensive. We're trying to tax as much as we can. We don't want unrest to really, or we don't want unrest to increase at all. So. Um, I could build a watchtower here real fast. Let's see, how much does it cost? 3,000? Let's do it real fast, just to see if he's got troops over here. Okay, so he does. We can destroy those guys, probably, and then these guys probably go... This fort, I can't see. Okay. Let's try it. <clears throat> this could go very bad, though, unfortunately. I'm going to create some reinforcements from here. Okay. Whoopsies. All right, we'll move some troops there then. Okay, full occupation. We could vassalize them, take all. Okay, <clears throat> so we won. So that's good. Um, let's see, improved relations from Poland. Offer peace from them. Truce with Gandar. Yep, yep, whatever, whatever, whatever. Population growth. Let's see, economy growth, income from taxation. Let's do economy growth, I think. Okay, so now we can boost back up infrastructure spending a little bit. So I was actually, I was actually pretty wealthy. That was a pretty wealthy conquest. Um, let's take a look over here. Apparently, nothing's really changed over here at all. Okay, what I'm wondering is actually about Trebzon. Uh, Trebzon does 66,000 people, no allies. Okay, so I think he's our next target. Um... I think after that, we'll probably go after, I want to say, the Byzantines. Let's raise some troops here in, um, yeah, Thessaloniki, Castoria. We'll move the main army to advance in Istanbul, and then we'll take, we'll take uh, the Marea ourselves. I don't think he has any allies, as far as I know. He's got friendly relations with Wallachia. That's about it, though. Okay, he's got 150,000 people living in his empire. Jesus. It's actually quite a bit. Especially for this time period. Great Horde has insulted us. That kind of pissed me off, but whatever. Let's take a look over here. So, Muscovy is fairly small. He's got tons of vassals. Um, I'd love to do a campaign as Numbgrad. That'd be kind of interesting. Let's we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this army's ready to go to invade Trebizond. Let's do it. Uh, well, do we need more troops? Hmm. That's a good question. 
We can't really raise too many men from out of here, but let's let's try it. Yeah, we'll just we'll advance in this position and just keep going. Let's take a look here. We've got twelve hundred men here. Whoa, what the hell was that? So it's fourteen forty eight right now, so we can attack we can attack the Byzantines pretty soon. Alright. Okay. Let's get some more men here, and I think that's actually the majority of the budget. Holy shit! Wow, he actually had a fuck ton of men waiting there. My god. Okay. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, fuck me, dude. No! Shit! Oh, wow, okay. Let's shore up this northern flank here. In case we attacked again. He's actually got um, a naval landing here. Looks like we wrecked him there. Let's grab more troops. Before he advance again, motherfucker. Okay, so we can grab more men. I'm lucky that we have quite a bit of a recruitable population over here in the east, or else this would be going not that well for us. War weariness, about 1%. Damn, Tribuzen, I'm impressed. Let's go for population growth, I think. Yeah, we need all the troops we can get, I think. Yeah, he's just, he's just throwing men into the situation now. Let's advance. He's gonna have a pretty decent army there, probably, yeah, about 703. Let's get some more reinforcements, I think. Before we advance on Tribuzen itself. Okay, so it's about 1451. We've been at war with them for about three years. Okay. Um, let's move on there with about 3,000, probably. Let's see, what else we got here? Yeah, let's just keep recruiting troops in these positions. Do we have enough um, recruitable population? Yeah, we're running. Eh, it's actually not. It's not bad. I think we'll actually be fine. Got him in. He was more numerous than I was anticipating. Go and decrease the investments here for a second. We'll keep up the research. We do we definitely do need the research and such. Just because our technology level is is quite a bit behind the Western powers. Um we need to have we have to have the research to get our, to get ahead. There we go. Yeah, close enough. Alright. Yeah, that's what I thought. He had about 1300 men. Okay. Conquered provinces. Yep. Okay, so we lost um, we lost six point six thousand to kill six point one thousand, and um, economic losses five hundred fifty nine economic points. Civilian losses one ninety. We lost two forty four and civilian losses eighty four. Apparently, we have six point six eight war weariness. Okay, that's a full annexation of um, of Tribizond. Now I think we go after the 
the Byzantines, I think. So when you can, when you move by sea, you move much quicker than when you do by, um, and then by land, because land is one province at a time, but sea you can actually move province by province, which is actually pretty nice. Apparently, the twenty has pretty decent relations with us, which is kind of cool. Okay, and um, let's actually come over here. We have a lot of money. Right now, let's come over here. I want to maybe build a library. Um, well, a workshop is nice here in, in our capital. Let's actually also get a farm there for the growth. And then I think I want to get a library, too. That'd be pretty sweet. Oopsies. We're going to grab some men for the army here. Um, I don't want to recruit... I don't want to recruit too much from the capital. Just, just because... Um, it, it drains your taxation and such. So if I can, I'd, I'd prefer to do it somewhere else. We're going to probably need a pretty decent amount of troops for this. So we've already decreased investments by, by quite a bit. Let's go for... Um, I'll keep it the population growth. Let's do like 3,000 men for this army. And I think we'll do 3,000 men for the army that's going to invade the Maria. Okay. Um, let's see. Castoria, Thessaloniki. Where do we have a critical population? Actually, these provinces in Thessaloniki are probably the best. What makes me the most money? A lot of this. Not necessarily so much in the east, though. Okay. Music is pretty dramatic. Jesus. Okay, how much is our population growing by? Our population grows by 259 a turn. We have over a million people. That's actually pretty cool. Um, Do we have a port here? We actually don't. We don't have a port here. Um, I think actually before we go to war, we're probably going to need one. Hmm. To get to the Maria. Yeah, not having a port here is going to hurt us. Let me grab some more men. Um, the port actually, I think, increased our income by by a little bit because the ports increase your income by 2%. Now, if you were to do that, if you were to build a port in pretty much every every high income location, I mean, you, you make yourself a pretty decent amount of money. So we may have to look into that after the war to do some internal development is to just build ports everywhere. Yeah, actually, Adirna already has one. Um, so I can't see what he has here. I mean, he's got a pretty decent population, so if we had trouble with the, the Trebizondians, we're gonna need some pretty serious troops for this. I'm just hoping everything goes well. Okay. So he doesn't have any allies. Okay. Holy fuck! He had an army of 10,000! 10,000 in fucking, um... An army of 10,000 men over there. Holy shit! That is crazy! He's got 8,000 men running around. That is insanity! Wow! Oh my god! That is so many troops. Look at that. He's actually transferring troops from me over here, too. Holy shit. I did not realize he had so much. He just lost our capital. Wow. That's going to go bad for us. Well. Wow. That is insane, dude. Oh, is that how you split armies? How the hell did I do that? Did I split those armies? I can't tell what I just did. 
Oh, dude, he's gonna take all of fucking Europe from me. Holy Jesus. Okay. So, he doesn't have... I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a lot of manpower, but... He's probably got some pretty decent men. Dude, holy shit. It's kind of scary. Desperate times, desperate measures. Research needs, needs to cease completely. And we need to text as much as we can. Okay, so he's got about he's got about five, six thousand men we're still dealing with here. Okay, so we actually defended that position. Um we can ready up here for for an offensive. I think I'm gonna come up here. Okay, all the troops this is all the troops we have. He's got about two thousand men here. Damn, that was a pretty decisive defeat right there. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Come on. Okay. Damn. How do you how do you split these armies? That's what I'm wondering about. Oh, dude, we're in, we're in for some deep shit right now. Okay. Um, let's move this army to Castoria. I think we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. So he's moving south. Mother of God. Oh, dude, that was good. Holy shit, though. Goods, research, investments. Yeah, I'm, I'm running out of cash here, though. Let's grab some men from here. We're running out of manpower. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, so can I can I split these troops or what? I'm not actually too sure. I'm gonna send these dudes, I think, down here, and I'm gonna get some smaller units. I think I'm going to shore up the line right here and we'll begin a reconquest. Okay, so he's moving for, um, motherfucker, he's moving for all the Anatolian provinces now. We actually, I forgot, we probably could have recruited troops over there and actually just kind of struck at him. Okay, so you're going to take, um... Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck, I'm out of movement points. We're transferring too many troops, troops around. We don't have the logistics to maintain this. So we gotta stop his ass somewhere. I think, I think we're starting to stop him, though. I think we're pushing him back now. He's probably out of manpower, I'm guessing. Nice. Nice. Good shit. Fuck. There's a very, there's a large army right there, dude. All right. So you go go for this position, you go for that position, you go here, you come over here. Fuck, yeah, we don't have the logistics to maintain this war. Come on, let's move, people.
Okay, we're advancing on Istanbul now. I've got reinforcements moving all across the continent here. Took that, took that, took that position, took that position, took that position, took that position. Defeated that. He advanced from Istanbul over here. Defeat. We're advancing in Istanbul. We took it. He still's got some holdouts. Send these men. These men. Those guys, we occupy Istanbul. I need to raise troops here in the con er, in the capital of Adirne. Raise troops here. Send these men up north. Those guys into Sofia. Um, we gotta secure supply lines here. Yeah, I'm willing to move out from this position. We're actually gonna hold this, though. Let's get some reinforcements. You go north into Vidin. Alright, so we've, we've taken most positions now. We pushed them back. So now it's just this. But I'm pretty sure he's out of troops. Now, oh, come on, dude. Really? God damn it. This interface is kind of pissed me off. It, it reminds me a lot about Hearts of Iron 4, actually. Having to establish... Supply lines and that whole nine yards. It's actually pretty cool. And then once it's once it's game over, you know it's game over. All right. So we lost um, fifteen point nine thousand men. We killed fifteen point four, and we lost a lot more than he did. All right. So that's it. Game over. We took um, we took Constantinople in the like. Um, I think Albania is next. Albania is next. He's got forty thousand men. What's our what's our war rareness though? Eleven percent. Holy shit. Yeah, we're gonna need to let that go down for a bit. So research. Let's bump research back up to thirty percent. Investments back up to I think twenty. And I think goods up to like twenty five. Okay. So that was that was actually pretty cool. So let's see here. So Istanbul is mostly Byzantine, some some Ottoman. We have to assimilate the place. We can have a festival. We could also invest in it. Well, how much how much money does it make us actually? <clears throat> That's a good question. Um, where do we get most of our income from? Yeah, Istanbul by far. Holy Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's try let's try moving the capital. Move capital to Istanbul. Thirteen thousand four hundred nine is what it's going to cost. I think so. Move capital to Istanbul. Fifth of September, fourteen sixty four. About ten years late on the reconquest of, or on the, on the conquest of Istanbul. So that's kind of interesting. Um, let's do a festival, I think. Our income is actually decreasing here. Now it's going up again. 
I think just because the war weariness needs to wear off, it, it can take some time for the war weariness to wear off. So let's take a look here. Who's friendly to me? Mamluks are decent. Bosnia is all right. Let's take a look. How's the world change? Hungary's at war with Poland. Poland was pretty much dismantled. Holy fuck. Dude, look at that. Lithuania went all the way north. That's pretty cool. France is down here. Burgundy's kind of wrecking these guys. Aragon has invaded Castile. Granada's expanded significantly. Holy fuck. It's kind of interesting to see how things change. Yeah, we're just going to need the country to be at peace for a while. Razan is over here. The Memlux are pretty big. It's kind of cool. Yeah, going to war with Venice is going to be something we're going to want to do. But we're going to need way more troops for it. I do want to invade um, Albania, though. That'd be pretty cool. So how's our technology level? Let's see, Italy is about 0 0.6. We're we're getting up there. We're advancing pretty quickly. We're actually um like further ahead than like Yeah, like England and and um and France and all that sort of good stuff. So we're we're actually advancing pretty fast. Festival's over in Istanbul. I want to invest more in uh in Istanbul. I think I definitely want a workshop. Um, well, we already have, we already have level two farms here. I want a workshop and I think I want a university. Apparently we have good relations with Lithuania, so that's kind of cool. Take a loan, repay a loan. We have 1.15 million people. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty good. We can do a supply camp for military upkeep. We can do an armory. I think I want that university. An NAP with the Papal State? Sure. Apparently we got insulted by the Mamluks now. Let's we'll see how that goes. The Mamluks have taken Karamon. Hmm. He's probably pretty strong too. Holy shit, the Mamluks. He's number six in the world. He's got 52 provinces. That'll be something. I don't think we have the power to go to war with him right now though. We're gonna focus on, I think, the Balkan states. And some of these other states over here. We could advance against Duke Holder. Um, I actually wouldn't mind doing that just because I don't want the, the Mamluks to expand anymore. So let's actually go ahead and move some troops out that way. Um, you might have some pretty decent military forces though, unfortunately. That Queen Lou, we also need to destroy. Apparently, Cyprus is at war with the Memlux, I think. Is he? No, he's out with Ramazan. Ramazan's actually still around. Wow. I didn't even know that. Do we have a port here in Antakya? No. I want to invade Cyprus, though. Let's build ourselves a port here. And... I think here. Uh, we're going to build about 2,000 men right there. About 3,000. We have about 6,000 men standing by here. Let's actually send an army real quick to go and invade Cyprus before we go up against Dukalder. Oh, sweet. Holy shit, really? Wow. Wow, we lost the entire army fighting that fucking battle. My god. 
3,000 men dead. These negotiations to take all. Well then. I believe Ming is number one in the world. Okay, so I see what that does now. Okay, I got it. Some assimilating. I got it, I got it. So it lets me assimilate stuff. Yeah, so like I can, okay. Okay, so that makes sense. All right. Dude, holy shit, that army was actually cost me quite a bit. Yeah, so we, we can still assimilate some of these places. Administration. We get quite a bit of money for actually taking provinces and stuff. Going to war is actually quite profitable. We definitely want to invade Theodoro. Um, we need more men for it, though. I do want to attack Ramazan. Either that or we, we vassalize him. Accept that. Post was rejected. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to go and take a quick break here. Um, I think we're going to continue on with this campaign in the next episode. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty interesting. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.